Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Byers, and this is Annie 245, and this is Module 3, and we're going to be creating a animating a ball with a tail, and we're going to be emphasizing uh, follow-through animation with the tail. So basically the bouncing um, up and down, we're going to start from the ground, though, um, and then bounce up like the character is jumping up. And we're going to be using a really cool rig uh, for this particular exercise. We'll have two exercises. One is going to be having the character jump up and down. And the other exercise will be the character jumping over an object. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. The first thing we'll need to do is you'll need to download modules three um, scenes. So I've got everything set up for you, and we're going to be using the same scene for both exercises. So the first exercise is going to be the jump up and down. So let's go ahead and go to File, and what you'll need to do is download um, the scene. You'll have to extract it. You'll have to place it in your Projects folder under Scenes. So open up Scenes and copy and paste that file into the Scenes folder. Then you'll need to go to File and then set your project. You'll need to go to My Computer if you're using a flash drive or a hard drive, external hard drive, or you'll have to go to Documents and set it up there. Since I'm uh, since I'm going to be uh, doing this from home, uh, creating this video, I am going to go ahead and click on My Projects and then find the folder that I already created. And that's Annie 245 Module 3, and just go ahead and set that. Wherever you put your folder, your project folder, you'll have to set it every time if you're moving your scenes on your flash drive. Okay? So I would recommend that to running your all your stuff off your flash drive or your hard drive and then backing it up every night so you don't lose anything. So I'm gonna go and go ahead and click on set. Go to file open and the one you're gonna click, you're not gonna see all this stuff, you're just gonna click on the one. That says any 245 module three ball tail start MA. Okay. All right, click on don't save, and this is your character. So how does your character work? So I've got I believe I have the ground in its own later, so do control A. And you can turn the visibility off so we can go through the rig real quick. And so we have uh, we have this icon here that is the control root. Usually, I don't move this when I'm animating the character. I just leave this. I just leave this where it is. You can animate the character going up and down by using the control, the main controller. Okay. Um, if you need to scale. Uh, the object you're going to have to it, this won't you you're not going to be able to scale this object properly uh, with this type of rig um, so those scale controls will not work on any of this so please don't you know try it it won't work um, but you can animate forward and backwards and all that stuff and you can rotate this as well okay so that's that's what you can do for movement. Squash and stretch is just w, just clicking on the top control, the control top, and you can squash and stretch this way. With the tail, you'll need to, you can do it one by one. I wouldn't recommend this, animating one by one, um, but you can, okay? You can animate one by one by rotating. You can't really move these. It's not going to work that way. That's, that's grayed out as well. You can't scale them, but you can rotate them. Okay. What I would suggest you doing instead of manually rotating each one of them, let me go back, is you select one, hit the Q key, and just uh, shift select the rest of them, and then hit the E key and rotate together. And that's how I'm going to show you how to animate this. Okay. All right. Um, and then if you go to the root control, right here it says control root, you can click on uh, tailed type, okay? You can click on fox, which gives us a character, fox character, and a beaver, 
which gives us a beaver character. Okay, so you can choose which one you want to play with. But I'm gonna I'm gonna use the fox for the jump up and down uh, animation. Okay, we can turn the tail on and off. Okay, if you just want to focus on the movement of the body first and then the tail, that's fine. Um, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead. And if that helps you to turn the tail off, you can. But we're eventually going to have to uh, do some follow-through animation. So um, it's understanding follow-through. You're, you're going to need to uh, watch the videos I have uh, to introduce uh, follow-through on characters. So please watch that under the lesson content in Module 3. All right, that's the character. That's how you're going to move things around. Again, you know how to do a selection set. Let's say you want to create a selection set for the tail. You can do that, and um, it's easy to do by selecting these one by one and animating them. So you can go to Create, Sets, and Quick Select, select Set. You can rename it whatever you like, um, like fox uh, tail, okay? And then you can go ahead and click on add to the shelf, which I've already done, so I'm not gonna do it. But that will add a quick selection set, so you can click off and select those anytime you want, and hit the E key and rotate that all together. Now you can still uh, select these one by one, or manually select these one by one if you want to and do it whichever you prefer. All right, in the next video, I'll show you how to get started animating the uh, jump up and down of our Fox character. I'll see you then.